Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rula Alani and today we are going to answer should you date multiple guys at once? Now I know this is a controversial topic so I'm going to start just with a disclaimer that I am not saying you should date multiple people when you're serious. And by serious I mean in a committed exclusive relationship where you guys have both told the other person that you are only seeing the other individual. So this is not until a conversation an actual dialogue has happened where you know the man Man, ask the woman to be his girlfriend or they maybe just have a simple conversation saying you know at this point let's stop dating other people and let's just exclusively see each other and see where that leads us so until that moment happens I believe that both parties are single it doesn't matter if you've been on a date it doesn't matter if you text every day or talk on the phone or do FaceTime dates or whatever it is but I do believe that when you are single, you have the freedom to do what you want to do. And that includes date other people, go out on dates, talk to other men or women. So I find it kind of interesting that people have such a hard time grasping their head around this concept of dating multiple people at once. I know even myself when I was younger, I kind of looked down upon people who dated multiple people at once. And then as I got older, I realized that I I was actually doing myself a disservice by dating one guy at a time because I was putting all my eggs and energy and time in one basket and I wasn't actually seeing what all of my options were first. Also, when we talk about dating multiple people at once, this does not mean you are sleeping around with all of them or even any of them actually. This doesn't entail sexual behavior at all. When I say dating multiple people, I mean talking to them, getting to know each other, going on dates, things like that. Getting to actually know who they are, not their body. So once again, like I said, this is usually in the early phases of meeting someone. So I would say generally it's the first few weeks or even the first few months where you guys are both, you know, you just met, you're still maybe on the dating app or you're still kind of actively talking to others, but you're kind of seeing where it's taking you. Remember, when you're single, you have certain benefits. So why just all of a sudden go on one date and then lose those benefits because you met a guy once? It doesn't make sense. Ladies, it is healthy, normal, and completely acceptable for you to date multiple guys at once. Men do it all the time and it's not an issue. However, for women, I don't know why there's this misconception that we can only date one guy at a time and we're not allowed to seek other options until we've closed that situation with that first person. As long as you are communicative and you tell this person, hey, I know we just met, I like you, I'm getting to know you, I just want you to know that I'm still on a dating app and I'm still actively going on dates, I hope that's okay. So just have a conversation if you're nervous to do it in person shoot them a text shoot them a message if you meet someone and they themselves know that they're a catch they're gonna be okay with you seeing other people right they're like sure go ahead go on a, go on a few other dates see what's out there because they know what they bring to the table they know that they're a high value person and they're not worried about the competition so once again this is something that kind of grew on me because when I was younger and let's say I met a guy on a date and he told me that he's still actively dating I might have felt a little bit you know insecure or a little bit competitive or a little bit like hmm why do you feel the need to do that but as I grew older I realized yeah you should continue to date other people especially when you have confidence in yourself and you know what you bring to the table you don't get worried or you really feel indifferent about them wanting to see other people because you know at the end of the day if it's meant to work it will work and if you are truly the best match for them then they are going to come back around and tie you down in an exclusive committed relationship so it's completely natural to date other people in the first few weeks, the first few months, 
once again, before you're exclusive or in a committed relationship, but just make sure that you're open and honest about it. Because the worst thing that can happen is one of you guys being exclusive and thinking you're in a committed relationship and then the other person being on a completely different page. Something easy that you can simply say to make sure that you guys are on the same page is if you want to be exclusive, let me know. Otherwise, I'll keep my options open. So this is a very neutral way to tell someone that, hey, we we just met. I'm still dating other people, but if you wanna be exclusive, let me know. So personally, in my relationship, we met on a dating app and I still remained on the dating app for at least like four or five months before I was certain about this person. So during this time, I was going on dates with my current partner, but I was also talking to multiple men and seeing what was out there in the dating pool. It wasn't until I was certain that my boyfriend and I decided to get into a committed relationship and at that time I deleted all dating apps and you know informed anyone who needed to know that I was now taken in a committed relationship. So I think this is a very natural progression and I actually think it's a lot healthier than meeting someone and going on one dates, two dates, maybe even three and then just automatically deciding to get in a relationship when you don't know much about them. So there's really no rush. Take your time. I really think in the first five dates, you guys are just kind of figuring things out. And at that time, you should be figuring other people out too. It's completely fine. It's completely healthy. And then you can make a better decision when the time is right. The crazy thing is, is many dating coaches actually agree with this rationale. If you go out and get a dating coach and ask what they think, nine times out of 10, they're going to tell you if you're single, you better be dating multiple people simultaneously. And it's not a secretive thing. It's not like, it's not a dirty or a controversial thing. You're being open with these people and you're telling them that you're still getting to know people and that you know they could you could eventually end up exclusive with them but you could also end up exclusive with someone else there's honestly so many benefits of dating multiple people at once the first one is we keep a sound logical decision making system and we don't just fall infatuated too quickly we kind of keep both of our feet on the ground. We remain rational, right? You're not going to just disregard any red flags or advice that you might hear from your friends and family. You're still going to be aware and you're still going to be actively searching and comparing. So this is really crucial because a lot of people meet someone and they lose all sense of judgment and they end up ignoring red flags or becoming blind to a really toxic or unhealthy situation. So when you're dating multiple people at once, it helps you remain sound and logical. It helps you make good decisions. You're able to actually compare different people and different scenarios and see what you like best. Also, we get to meet more potentials. Well, dating multiple people helps you gain more confidence. It helps you gain more experience. It helps you get to see what's out there rather than just meeting one guy and being closed off to any other possibility. The more choices you have, the better. Remember, in the end, this is really a probability game. You want to find the best person possible, and the only way you can do that is by dating a wide variety, a different range of people. More experience is always better, and in this process, you're really building your communication and social skills, and you're also just having a lot more confidence as a woman, knowing that, hey, I don't just need to settle down with the first guy I meet. I can actually actually get to know multiple people and see who I'm most passionate about and who is the best fit for me and my lifestyle. Also, rather than viewing dating as a chore, you view it as a process, as a journey to finding Mr. or Mrs. Right. And of course, it helps you clarify what you want, what you don't want, what you like, and what you dislike. You actually learn more about yourself than you do about other people in this process, which is absolutely amazing. Another thing which I talked about earlier in this video is it helps you weed out 
possessive, controlling men who are not willing to date you for a few weeks or a few months with even the possibility of you talking to someone else. Now, if someone isn't giving you the chance to be single when you just met them and to explore your options, which you have every right to, then that says a lot about their character and their personality and how the situation and the relationship could unfold in the future. So keep your eyes and your ears open and if any person you meet along the way is not willing to let you be single for the first few weeks or the first few months to figure things out, then maybe they're not right for you. A true masculine man knows his value, knows his worth. He's not going to waver 1% from hearing that you're talking to other people because he knows what he has to offer and he's actually happy to be involved in this chase to win you over. The right man is willing to prove himself as the best candidate through work, through action, through words, and through getting to know you with the progression of time. And obviously, if we have multiple options and the actual time and patience to make the right decision, we usually will end up picking the best candidate. And instead of forcing it right off the bat, we'll allow the feelings to naturally develop over time. Imagine missing out on love because we decided not to go on a date with another guy or simply because we settled too soon with someone who we thought was our best pick when we weren't actually giving ourselves enough options. This is why I highly recommend dating multiple men at once until we're certain and ready for commitment. Let me know your thoughts on dating multiple people in the comments and I will see you all very soon. Bye!